Good day, my dear students. In this video session, let us learn how to derive the shape functions for four-node tetrahedral element, uh, one of the three-dimensional element used in uh, FEM. At each node, there are three degrees of freedom, x, y, and z component of displacement at each node. And it is uh, one of the solid element used in FEM. And four-node tetrahedral element, the shape of the element is tetrahedron. It consists of four faces and uh, four uh, corner nodes. Uh, it consists of uh, four triangular faces. Uh, let us first uh, draw the sketch of the tetrahedral element. It consists of four faces. You can see here. This is the face one. You can say this is face two, and face three, bottom face, and the front face that is face four. Like this, it consists of four triangular faces and uh, four corners. Just I have numbered the nodes: node number one, node number two, node number three, and node number four. Like this. Uh, you just first you draw the sketch of this element uh, having uh, four nodes, corner nodes. Number the nodes like this, and uh, uh, locate the origin at node four. And now uh, the directions you represent in terms of natural coordinates. We are deriving the shape functions now. This direction is represented by zeta, and this direction is represented by nita, and this direction is represented by phi. These are the three natural coordinates. Because here it is a three-dimensional element, we are using three natural coordinates: zeta, nita, and phi. Okay, like this, you just represent and uh, uh, write the natural coordinate values of all these four nodes uh, in this manner: in uh, zeta, nita, and phi. Okay. Now we will write the natural coordinate values with respect to this uh, origin no, uh, at node four. We'll uh, we will with respect to this node four, we will write the natural coordinate values of uh, other nodes. Okay. Now let us consider. Now first you write the natural coordinate value of these faces. First, if you consider the face uh, joining the nodes so one, four, and three, uh, here uh, this is uh, this face is approaching this uh, uh, nita direction. Uh, at this at this face consists of node four here, the origin. Hence uh, here the nita is equal to zero on this face. Hence uh, at node one uh, nita is zero, and at node three nita is zero, and obviously origin uh, that is nita is equal to zero at node four. Okay. Uh, next, uh, if we consider uh, the next phase, uh, this one approaching uh, this zeta direction, zeta direction. Okay. Now this phase consists of nodes. Uh, Two, three, and uh, four. Okay. And now here, this consists of node four. Hence, here this phase along this phase, zeta is equal to uh, zeta is equal to zero. Hence, uh, at node two, zeta is zero. At node four, zeta is zero. Hence, at node three, you write zeta is equal to uh, zero. Okay. At node one, uh, zeta is equal to one. Okay. At node one, zeta is equal to one, which is in this zeta direction away from this particular phase. Zeta is equal to one at node one. Okay. Likewise, here also uh, for this phase, we wrote uh, nita is equal to zero at uh, nodes one, four, and three. And uh, uh, since node two is away from this phase, nita is equal to one at node two. Okay. Next, uh, if we consider this one bottom phase, which is approaching in uh, uh, phi direction, phi direction uh, at this phase, uh, phi is equal to uh, zero. Okay, that means at node one, phi is equal to zero. At node two, also phi is equal to zero. And at node four, that is the origin, phi is equal to zero. And at node three, the phi is equal to one, which is away from this face. Okay, at node one, which is uh, in the phi direction, phi is equal to one at node three. Okay, like this, uh, these three faces uh, which are approaching towards zeta, nita, and uh, phi directions respectively, uh, we can write the zeta, nita, and the phi values. And at uh, we can we can observe that here at uh, node four, zeta, nita, and phi are zero. At node one, uh, zeta is one. At no uh, and uh, nita and phi are zero. At node two, nita is one. Uh, zeta and phi are zero, and at node three, phi is one. Zeta and nita are uh, zero. Like this, uh, you just uh, uh, write the natural coordinate values of uh, these nodes. You remember these natural coordinate values so that it will be helpful to derive, uh, determine the shape functions n1, n2, n3, and n4. Okay. Now we'll move on to uh, determine n1. 
okay shape function n1 can be determined now let us uh, determine the shape functions for tetrahedral element uh, using um, by adopting lagrange method of shape functions now okay uh, using lagrange method of shape functions to find uh, shape function n1 at node 1 since uh, node number 1 is uh, uh, in uh, zeta direction along node number 1 there is node number 4 okay then i will write l1 of zeta uh, that is l1 of zeta can be written as zeta minus uh, zeta 4 divided by zeta 1 minus uh, zeta 4 okay but in uh, neta direction at node 1 along node 1 in neta direction that is in this and in uh, neta direction and in uh, phi direction uh, there are no other nodes uh, along with the node 1 node number uh, 1 uh, hence uh, we will consider only in uh, zeta direction only therefore uh, we will get n1 is equal to in uh, zeta direction uh, for node 1 n1 is equal to zeta minus zeta 4 divided by zeta 1 minus zeta 4 okay uh, that is using lagrange method of shape function now we will substitute the values of zeta 4 zeta 4 zeta at node 4 it is 0 substitute here and uh, at node 1 uh, zeta value is 1 you substitute 1 zeta 4 is 0 if we calculate this ratio n1 we will get zeta minus 0 divided by uh, 1 minus 0 that is zeta minus zeta divided by 1 you will get zeta that is n1 is equal to 0 first shape function we have derived that is n1 is equal to zeta okay now uh, you can observe here in the second page it is uh, um, determined uh, the n1 you can observe here shape function at now node 1 uh, which is in uh, uh, the direction of zeta zeta minus zeta 4 by zeta 1 minus zeta 4 by substituting natural coordinate values we got n1 as zeta now come to n2 uh, n2 shape function can be determined by using okay uh, n2 shape function can be determined n2 is equal to now since node number 2 is in a neta direction only uh, then we will get only l2 of neta only will exist hence uh, we will uh, uh, find uh, the we, we will for did we will write the ratio uh, using the lagrange shape uh, function lagrange method of shape function that is uh, along uh, uh, node number 2 in neta direction there is one node that is node number 4 we will write neta minus neta 4 divided by uh, neta 2 minus uh, neta 4 okay now you write the values of neta 4 and neta 2 neta 4 is 0 okay and uh, neta 2 that is at node number 2 neta is equal to 1 okay then you substitute neta 2 as uh, 1 neta 4 as 0 we will get n2 as that is uh, neta 4 0 that is neta minus 0 numerator divided by uh, denominator 1 minus 0 1 uh, that is uh, ratio you will get neta divided by 1 that is neta then shape function n2 is given by neta okay now likewise now if you consider uh, this one uh, n3 that is shape function at node 3 n3 okay shape function n3 can be written as okay at node number 3 which is in uh, phi direction only okay uh, there is no other node in other directions hence l3 of uh, phi will exist uh, hence uh, along uh, in phi direction along node 3 there is a node 4 again then we will write the using lagrange method of shape function phi minus phi minus phi 4 divided by phi 3 minus phi u phi 4 okay now you write uh, phi is one of the natural coordinate okay now you substitute the natural coordinate values phi 4 that is at node 4 phi value is 0 at node 4 phi value is 0 okay phi 3 at node 3 phi value is 1 you substitute 1 phi is equal to 1 okay then we will get ratio phi minus 0 numerator divided by 1 minus 0 denominator if we will get phi by 1 then we will get n3 is equal to n3 is equal to phi divided by 1 that is phi shape function n3 is given by phi we got these three shape functions n1 as zeta n2 as neta n3 as phi and one more shape function which is remained that is n4 okay how do you find the n4 shape function by using lagrange method of shape function or uh, once as we know n1 n2 and n3 by using one of the property of the shape function the sum of the shape functions is always unity by using that uh, n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 is equal to 1 okay therefore n4 is equal to 1 minus n1 minus n2 minus n3 like that 1 minus zeta 
minus n2 that is neta minus n3 that is phi. This is the shape function n4 because we got this one n4 we got a1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi. These are the four shape functions. Okay, well, how you got this n4? Because n4 n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 is equal to 1. This you should know. Okay, from this n1 can be written, n4 can be written as 1 minus n1 minus n2 minus n3. You will get this one. These are the four shape functions we have derived for tetrahedral element. Uh, these are n1 is equal to zeta, n2 is equal to neta, n3 is equal to phi, and n4 is equal to 1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi. I hope you have understood, my dear students. And this uh, and also you can observe and also this one by using n1 is equal to zeta we got n2 neta n3 is equal to phi and shape function at node 4 uh, this one by using one of the property of the shape function that we just we have discussed uh, by summation of uh, the shape, shape functions is always unity by using that you can directly find out n4 is equal to 1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi or otherwise using Lagrange method of shape function if you do then uh, node number 4 along node number 4 we have this one for node number 4 we have node number 2 in neta direction node number 3 in uh, uh, this one phi direction and node number 1 in zeta direction we have in neta direction node number 2 in phi direction node number 3 and in uh, zeta direction node number 1 hence uh, the ratio you, you will get l l4 of zeta into l4 of neta and l4 of phi then zeta minus that is you will get if you consider the in zeta direction zeta minus zeta 1 divided by zeta 4 minus zeta 1 you should write next neta direction if you consider neta minus multiplied by neta minus neta 2 divided by neta 4 minus neta 2 okay next uh, phi direction you consider phi minus phi 3 divided by phi 4 minus phi 3 because node 4 along uh, node 4 uh, in all the directions there are nodes 1 2 and 3 but for n1 n2 and n3 we have uh, we had only in zeta direction in only one direction we had the nodes hence we got only one ratio here uh, 3 you just take the product of this uh, substitute all these values that we know natural coordinate values we will get this n4 equation neglecting these terms we will get 1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi n4 is equal to 1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi like this this is what the four shape functions n1 n2 n3 n4 for a four node tetrahedral uh, element n1 uh, n2 n3 n4 n1 zeta n2 neta n3 phi n4 1 minus zeta minus neta minus phi thank you my dear students thank you take care stay safe stay healthy